the massacre at Wounded Knee. The white man called it a battle. It was a massacre. Fear that the ghost dancers meant to rise against the government brought Chief Bigfoot's band to surrender. You got reports of tear gas. Care if I film, dude? Look at me. Go ahead. Sounds like the medic. Tear gas? Again? Help people get in. Again? All right, all right. Again? prophecy of the black snake was going to go through. How do you justify? You know, it's the biggest, biggest aquifer and, and if that gets contaminated, everybody's going to have a hard time. If they're selling water now, that bottle of water you get for three, four dollars is going to go up to a hundred bucks a bottle, you know, or bet or more. That's how much valuable, you know. Why do you think Nestle's buying up all the water around the world? They know they can get rich off of that. All well, they got it, and it could be intentional too. They can contaminate the aquifer and start only the only ones that have the money will survive. You swore all to protect us. Shotgun, shotgun. He's not to shoot. We couldn't call anybody because there was nobody to call. You know, we even called Bismarck and they said, call the police, call 911. Well, 911 was a cross trying to kill our young people. You know, they were shooting at our young people. And there was tear gas, and there was uh, rubber bullets, and there was water canyons, and sound canyons, and everything possible. They tried to say that they don't, you know, that was just a deter, but they were the ones that were trying to hurt, uh, you know, hurt our young people. Uh, as a leader up there, I was expected not to go to the front because what they do is they get leaders and then capture them and put them in jail to make a point. This, this is what can happen to anybody that violates this law. But there was no law because our civil rights were violated, our human rights were violated, uh, there was elderly abuse, there was animal abuse. They shot, they shot up horses so you, know, you had to take them down to get them out of their misery. You know? 
they, they, they were going for headshots for our young people. And that's how one young lady almost lost her whole arm. You probably think this is a game. You like shooting people, don't you? You like shooting kids. You like shooting kids. We are women and children. There's children and grandchildren. We'll have clean water if you stop destroying this water shit. Right away, We're here for all of the people. Tell your officials we want water. We want water. We want, water. Water. We want peace for your children. We're here for violence. We're here to protect water. Don't shoot on other people. And that's the only way we got the message out was through social media, because they blocked. The major stations from going in there to tell our story because they're violating all our rights, and they wanted to block that off. They blocked out. They tried to cut off our cell phone service, everything. Yeah. But Unicorn Riot, they were determined, and that's how the rest of the world spread out. That's was why how the rest of the world found out what was going on, and that's how everybody came. Either they came there, or they supported in uh, monetary wise, or supplies, food, clothing, you know. Back down, Dutch guys! I will give you one last warning. Vacate the bridge immediately. Back down, Dutch guys! 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 Back down, Dutch chooses to do the right thing Thank for you. the health and goodness of the people. Who is shooting at who? We're fucking unarmed! We are the people! And we are the people! We are the people! We are the people! This is you! Shooting at us! And I never thought in my lifetime I would be trying to protect that water. I never thought it'd come that quick and it came. You know? And so that's why it's so important. If it can come that quickly, what, what are our grandchildren? What is the seventh generation going to go? What will happen to them? You know. So that's that's the main that's the main thing. You know, we have to uh, we have to make a make a difference and, and and go towards the positive. The term of victory for me was to continue to see people helping each other, sharing that love and caring for each other, and stop this hate that's already been you know uh, that's been present since the beginning. Um, so the so the so the caring and love can continue forward. Just a little bit. If if you put that seed in somebody's mind, you'll keep going, and tell them, you know, hey, we need to do this. All it takes is a couple of minutes. Shine your light, we are equal. I remember the days when our prayers were illegal. I remember the days when being Indian was lethal. Yeah, we had a rough past, but get ready for the sequel. Yeah. Get ready for the glorious comeback of our people. Yeah, rise up, all you warriors of love, all you answers to the prayers of our ancestors from above. I can feel it in my heart, can you feel it in your blood? I can hear the seven fire calling us to wake up. All nations rise, rise up, cause now's your time. We don't have to hide anymore cause now's our time stay strong brothers and sisters stay strong The traders brought whiskey and they brought guns.
with rifles to get more ropes to trade for more rum. A cycle had been started. A cycle which had nothing to do with survival for the Indians. I think about the bigger picture. I think about all of us. You know, I think that you know we need to do everything to survive, to love each other, to spread that love, and to to help each one another, and have compassion for people. You know, respect, honor, everything. And then you hear over the news. You know, they're they're starting this and they're doing this and nothing. Got to pray for them. You know, it doesn't solve anything. Violence doesn't solve anything, but prayer does. You know. Pipeline, that black snake, the prophecy of the black snake was going to go through. I was like, violence isn't going to solve anything. It's going get, to get us killed. It went through, and now we pray that it doesn't break until it's changed. And it, like I said, it, it's, it's going to change through prayer. It's not going to change through violence. It's, it, you know, it's, it's going to take a lot of prayer from a lot of people. And that's what the young people want. Go somewhere, pray, put some tobacco down, pray. Ask the Creator to help you with that, you know. That's how you get it. That's how you have uh, taken care of, it, you know, anything, really. You know, it's how much and how, what comes from here and how you pray. In the history of colonization, they've always given us two options. Give up our land or go to jail. Give up our rights or go to jail. And now, give up our water or go to jail. We are not criminals. We're mothers. We're sisters. We stand on treaty land. We are not criminals. I am Suchangu Lakota, and this is my treaty territory. I am Oglala Lakota, and this is my treaty territory. I am Ohe Nupa Lakota, and this is my treaty territory. We are all at risk of facing arrests, police brutality, federal charges, and prison time. And a lot of people, you know, when they hear that, oh no, I gotta, you know, I gotta go to church and say, <laughs> but no, you can do that anyway. You can walk outside the store, put a little bit of tobacco down, or if you don't have tobacco, I'll just say, hey, creator, this is why I need help in this. You know. I'm the spiritual advisor for a nonprofit that, that uh, we, we created. It's called the White Horse Creek Council. And like I said, we, we try to make a positive impact through that. It's, it's uh, like I, uh, Ryan was saying, if, you got, if anybody couldn't make donations, also uh, leave your contact because uh, we can write you a receipt for a uh, tax deductible, you know, uh, you can get, get it deducted from uh, your taxes. In life, in general, we, everybody's equal. Uh, an ant is equal to us. Nobody's better than anybody and nobody's less than anybody. We all are equal, you know. The king across is equal to us. A uh, little uh, spider is equal to us, you know. He's got a right to live too. He's got a nahi, he's got a spirit, just like you.